What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're going to be breaking down how to run a post route versus zone coverage and against this kind of outside leverage off man situation. Okay, so we're going to talk about attacking a blind spot, how you can get some separation, how you can close the distance with the DB so you can get open in any given situation. Okay, but also fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you want to learn how you can read defenses, read defensive backs, read safeties, read linebackers to know how to structure your routes, how to structure your releases, when to do certain moves, check out that very first link in the description for a 40 minute long video where we break down all the nuances of wide receivers and how they can read the coverage, how they can read DBs. This is mainly for how receivers can understand like the principle of when to use specific moves, when to use specific moves at the top of the route and off the line and the timing of each play. So again, very first link in the description. Hope we get you guys on that soon. Let's get started with this video. So we're looking at this post route here from um, uh, Des Bryant. And he's going to be working this against this. Obviously, it's an off man situation here, right? Because there's no safety. It's a one-on-one -on -one route, but it's a good look to get a look because if this is kind of the same principle as zone coverage, right? So why would a DB be outside leverage? Why would a DB be outside shade, right? Usually what that means, and obviously this is why I would consider it an off-man situation right now, usually what that means is he's got help to the inside, right? He's got like a single high free safety, so we want him to run over the middle so that free safety can make a play. Maybe the quarterback will throw it late, or maybe, and maybe he's even got two high safeties towards the inside of the field, right? So he's probably in this, they're probably working a situation where this guy's got help to the inside. He's trying to force him back to the inside, so they, they have more help over there, right? The sideline is not his friend. He does not have any help out right here. So as a receiver, what do you think you want to do when that DB is trying to force you to the inside and protect his outside? You want to attack the outside. You want to threaten him to where he doesn't have any help, right? So you want to try to get to this blind spot right here. So how I force this DB to turn his hips and actually turn and run with me is by closing the distance with him and actually running at him fast. So you see Des Bryant does exactly that. He attacks that leverage, forces that hip turn from that DB to turn and run because maybe he's thinking we're coming out here, taking like a wide stem, going straight up in a fade. Maybe it's like a slot fade, whatever the situation might be, right? Now, if it's zone coverage, he's probably not going to be watching us. He's not going to be watching my hips. He's going to be looking at that quarterback, right? Like, let's say you're on the outside. You got to run a post. Maybe it's like cover three, cover four, whatever it is. He's bailing facing that quarterback. You want to close the distance with him and try to step on those toes to move him off of there and get him to do exactly this. Because now what does he have? He's got a blind spot and he's got a weak hip. So that's what we want to attack. You see how Bryant throws that rocker step to that blind spot, right? We're threatening him to that spot where he doesn't want us to go. Nothing worse than a DB who's outside shade gets beat right here and Des Bryant makes a break off of this and just slips back underneath them and we catch this out, force a speed turn, whatever it is. So you want to attack this blind spot to try to move him off this platform. Because when I can move him off that platform, look at all the space I just set up for myself. And from a quarterback perspective, especially like let's say maybe there's one high safety right here, I want as much separation between the DB and you. So if I do miss, maybe I can miss a little bit behind or maybe I slow you down with this ball and it's not like this guy's got a chance to pick it off or anything like that. I don't want to lead you too far across the field because maybe you got a safety right here who's going to take your head off or who's going to pick the ball off. Off, right? So it's very important. You got to run a post route, you attack that blind spot. Maybe you got to run a dig route, you attack the blind spot. Get as much separation as possible, even when it's a zone coverage situation and there's safety help over the middle. Don't just come out, run the route, and let this DB be all over your back hip and make this a super tight window for the quarterback to throw to. We want to make it as easy as possible on that quarterback to fit this thing into a tight window. Let's watch this thing again full speed one more time. Great job by Dez coming out, attacking that blind spot, attacking that weak hip, giving that rocker step, and then coming off this route. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate if you guys have any questions at all, please leave those in the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And also, fellas, if you want to learn how wide receivers should read defenses, how you guys can understand DBs, what to look for in DBs, how they play you, what certain coverages means that you do certain things, and timing of certain plays, check out that very first link in the description. It's a 40-minute long video all based on how wide receivers can improve their reading defenses ability. Hope we get you guys on that soon. I'll see you guys next time.